once again it's another video hopefully you find this video edifying as well as uh, exhorting shalom to the elect of the nation of israel all praises and glories due to the heavenly father yahweh barshem yahweh shai barshem rakakwadash and i'm going to call this video evil men do not understand judgment evil men do not understand judgment and here's a perfect example of that uh, this video was inspired by a couple of videos I watched. Um, the first one being, um, uh, Shall they be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? This was put up by Elder Pastor. That's his channel there, GMS Declaring the End. And the second one was not to think of himself more highly than he ought to. Uh, that was also put up by... Uh, uh, GMS Vegas sit downs, and that's uh, Elder Elder Karataza. Okay, and it was based off of um, uh, Elder Pastor's video. So I'm going to be reacting to both videos. Hopefully, if, once again, you find this video edifying. So, what does the title mean? Evil men do not understand judgment. Well, here's the example. Okay, so first, let me start with um, Elder Pastor's video. And then I'll cross over into Elder Karatazar's video. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Goddamn GMS. This is like a scene out of the Star Wars movie, in the, the bar scene. Niggas looking like aliens. And she came out to this event because, again, the killing is a major problem here on the east side. Part of the question is why why so basically to for those of you that don't know recently the iuic uh some of their members uh stood in so-called solidarity with the noi over the <clears throat> over the killings that have been happening like you heard uh that was uh, the voice of i, I think his title is deacon abiel or, yeah i think it's deacon abiel you just heard him say uh, the killing got so bad, they had to go and show some support to the, you know, with the NOI over the killings that have been happening. And uh, not to mention that the NOI do not believe in the same doctrine that uh, that um, IUIC believe believes in. Okay, so that's that. According to the uh, scriptures, that's a conflict of interest. All right, because one scripture comes to mind is clearly written: "Be not unequally yoked with unbelievers." The NOI is unbelief; they are unbelievers. They don't believe that we're Israelites. Okay, they believe that they are um, so-called Muslims. Okay, which really there's no such thing. They believe they're of this phantom nation of um, nation of uh, Islam. All right. When we're of the nation of Israel, we're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. So there's a major conflict of interest right there. So why is the uh, uh, why is this group that's supposed to represent the Israelites, as in IUIC, why are they standing with a group that doesn't believe that they're Israelites? They believe that they're of this phantom nation of Islam. It's confusion, and um, it's not a good look, and. You know, like the scriptures say, evil men, um, how's it go, uh, uh, has to do with, oh, a sinful man findeth an excuse according to his will. Okay, so they're coming up with an excuse of why they were standing there with the NOI in that video. Okay, uh, findeth an excuse. Let's get that scripture. Find if an excuse. It should come up. Yep, here it is right here. We're just going to re read the uh, uh, scripture itself. Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, also known as Sirach, 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved. And, and that's that group, man. They, they ought to be now the true men of the Lord, which are the watchmen. They're set up to reprove and rebuke. That action of the IUIC standing with, uh, you know, 
standing with this uh, group that doesn't believe that we're Israelites, that believes in some phantom nation of uh, Islam, which is d a direct contra uh, contrast to what, what we as Israelites teach, they ought to be reproved and rebuked for that. That was not a good move. That was not the move. But like it says here, a sinful man will not be reproved. So they did that video, Abiel and I think Kanai Gabar was there. And they did that video to justify their folly. Why? Because like the scripture said, a sinful man will not be reproved. Now here's, here's the, the latter part of the verse, which truly applies to them. It says, but findeth an excuse according to his will. You see that? So they're coming up with excuses throughout the video. Okay? Of why they made such a silly move. All right? And even... Um, uh, Israelite groups outside of GMS uh, scorned upon that. One of those groups uh, was the uh, Believers of the Way. And this was a group, Believers of the Way was a group, is a group that looks looks up to the IUIC. Look, looks, I don't know if they still look up to them, but they were very uh, disappointed. You know, the Believers of the Way, <laughs> they were very disappointed saying, you... Especially one of the members, he said, you, you, you got together with a group that, that doesn't believe that we're Israelites? A group of non-believers? A group of heathens? As in the NOI, you know? So it's pretty comical to see because before that, this uh, Believers of the Way, this was a group that, that uh, idolized the IUIC. All right? So <laughs> all kind of soap opera drama is happening out here, man. And meanwhile, we here at uh, Great Millstone GMS and our affiliates, we look we look at all this stuff and laugh, man. Okay? <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 32 and 17, a sinful man will not be reproved, but find of an excuse according to his will. So, that you know, that's what uh, the IUIC is doing. All right. Uh, let's get back to the video. Ah! Uh, why? Why? W-H-Y. If there be evil in the city, have there, how will not done it? So you mean to tell me Satan is doing his own thing? The Lord said, don't be killing nobody in that area right there. I want that place. These are my fuck. They had to hell with them. I'm going to do it any damn way. Yeah, so basically, and this is what Elder Karatazar res re uh, responded to, the, the very important point that Elder Pastor made in this video. All right, because you got Abiel talking about we had to go over there and make an appearance because the sister, and notice he said the sister, right? What it, you know, the sister uh, came and, and, and uh, supported us or whatever, you know, and uh, we had to come and uh, make an appearance because we had to uh, show that we're against the killings that have been happening in that area. Well, like Elder Pastor said, that's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right? There are plenty of scriptures that tell you if there be evil, if there be killings, the Heavenly Father has done it. And we know that, first of all, it was written every day the Heavenly Father doth bring forth judgment. Okay, let's get that. So evil men do not understand judgment. I'm going to bring that scripture out to you which is the title of this video. First, let's get that scripture. Every day, the Heavenly Father doth bring forth judgment. Every day, He doth bring forth judgment. All right? Hopefully it comes up. Yeah, here it is right here. Zephaniah 3 and 5. Let's read that. <clears throat> Zephaniah 3 and 5, it says, The just Lord, I draw your attention to, to the word just, just means righteous. So even when the Heavenly Father does evil, he, he's doing righteousness. All right, even when the, every, all the works of the Heavenly Father are done in a delicate balance. So all his works, whether they be righteous or evil, are righteous. All right, because the Heavenly Father does his work in a delicate balance and he's out here bringing judgment because number one because his people don't want to listen to his word they don't want to listen to to his uh, prophets 
you know. And and overall, the Heavenly Father, he's he's showing, like uh, Elder, High, Elder High Priest Yaikwab used to say, we had to learn wickedness in order to appreciate righteousness. Okay, so all of this killing and dest destruction, all that, that's all part of wickedness, which we had to learn so that when uh, we, we get into the kingdom and we're under total righteousness, we'll appreciate righteousness that much more because we've gone through wickedness. We know what wickedness looks like. So this, all, th this is all the work of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and evil men don't understand that. They don't understand judgment. They don't understand the works of the Heavenly Father. All right? And it's clear this IUIC group doesn't understand the works of the Heavenly Father. Okay? The reason why there is killings and destruction is because the Heavenly Father wants the killings and destruction. And you have to come to that realization. You, you can't, um, how's that scripture go? Uh, as a matter of fact, we'll come back to Zephaniah. Let's go to Isaiah 55. And this, this, is, what, uh, this is what the UIC is doing. They're going according to their own thoughts and feelings. They're not going according to the program of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. <clears throat> This is one thing we got to realize. Here it is right here. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. See, that group is going according to their way and their thoughts. All right? They're not going according to the way and thoughts of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. Well, they don't even teach in the name of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. That's what happens when you teach in the name of God and Jesus Christ. You go according to your own way and your own thoughts. See, if they were teaching in the name of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, they would go according to the Heavenly Father, His way and His thoughts, as a prophet is supposed to do. And another thing too, that, that proves that they're really not prophets, as the brother from uh, Vegas said in his video, which I'm going to play a little bit of his video. So it says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. There you go. And let him return unto the Lord. What do you think that means? you doing the work according to the way the Lord wants you to do it. All right? You're following the way of the Lord. You're doing, the, the, no matter how, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No matter how um, strange it may seem to you, you're following the way of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai because you're told to follow the way of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai. You're not following your own ways. You ain't going according to your own thoughts. Okay? It says, let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. Right. It ultimately will be delivered if we follow the way of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai perfectly. Okay. And not doing our own thing. And that's what the IUIC is very guilty of. They're, they're guilty of doing their own thing. They got their own program going on over there. That's one of the reasons why eventually Yahweh Barshim Yahushai will destroy that group. Dismantle it. Okay. And he will have mercy. There's no scripture where the Lord told you to march, you know, uh, uh, to, to, to march on the city for any cause. There you are marching. You got your men, a thousand, two thousand marching and shit. There's no scripture that says to do that. Yahweh Shai didn't do that when he was on the plan of teaching his ministry. He didn't march upon the Romans. He didn't have the uh, uh, disciples which became apostles. He didn't give them the order to march upon the Romans. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> you got your own program going on over there. Anyway, he will have mercy upon him and to our uh, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Right. Now here's the point. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, uh, saith the Lord. Or neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. You see that? For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. So we always got to keep that in remembrance. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's ways and thoughts are not our ways and thoughts. That's why we got to learn to follow instructions. Learn to follow instructions. Okay. And this IUIC group. Is, is guilty of not following instructions. Nobody told you in the scriptures, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai didn't tell you to go marching for any cause. All, all the calamity that's coming upon the Lord's people is just that, judgment. It's judgment. It's going to get worse. What, what are you going to do when it really ramps up the killing and the destructions? What are you going to do then? <laughs> you guys are crazy, man. All right. So now let's get back to uh, the fact that Yahweh Bashim brings judgment every day. 
Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. You see that? Even all his works are righteous, whether they be good or evil, all the works of Yahweh Shemel Shah is righteous, period. Okay, and remember, his ways are higher than our ways, and his thoughts is higher than our thoughts. All right, we were instructed to follow Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right, uh, it says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof, he will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. And, and there, there are many Israelites that can't understand his judgment. All right. There's a scripture say, there's a scripture that says we have the thoughts of Yahweh Shai. All right. Let me see if I can get that. Let me see if I can get that scripture for you. It's very important to have the thoughts of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai and not rely upon our own thoughts and feelings, our own emotions. Here it is right here. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 15. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Right? The, the fact that they're doing that marching over there shows they're not spiritual, that group. Shows they're not spiritual. Okay. It says, but he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man, right? For who have known the mind of the Lord? That's very important to know the mind of the Lord, to have his thoughts and his ways. Remember, he said his thoughts and his ways are not our thoughts or our ways. So we're striving to have the mind of the Lord, to do things that please Yahweh Shimei Shai, okay? It says, for who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. See, we're supposed to be instructed. These guys at the IUIC, they're not following instructions. And the, the marching nonsense proves it. That's just one example. Okay? Proves that they're not following instructions. And for that, they're going to be dismantled. That group is going to be dismantled. When, when, remember, our, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Barshem Yahweh is, is uh, as it is written, is long-suffering. But eventually he will bring forth judgment. Every day he doth bring forth what? Judgment. We're going back to Zephaniah 3 and 5. For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. You see? We have the mind of Yahweh Shai, which is very important. All right? So now going back to Zephaniah 3 and 5, it says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, here's the point, every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. And there are many that don't understand his judgment. The killings and the destruction, all of that, that's part of his judgment. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's get uh, one scripture on that. Well, actually, we'll get a couple. Let's get 1 Samuel 2 and 6. Let's read that. And you know, the, the, the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, they understand that. They understand when they see the killings and the destruction, they understand, oh, that's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That's his judgment. See, we're not going to get emotional and go in our own thoughts and feelings when we're supposed to have the mind of Yahweh Shai, as it is written. We're supposed to have the mind of the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. 1 Samuel 2 and 6, it says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. That, that's, that's all you need to read. The Lord kills and makes alive. That's his judgment. Okay? Um, matter of fact, let's go from there to Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. We're going to read that. It's important that we learn judgment, man. We're getting ready to see some serious judgment out here in these streets. Now what are they going to do? Are they going to march for every, every, every cause? <laughs> Is that what they're going to do, IUIC? Because <laughs> you're going to have a lot of death and destruction out here in these American streets, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he. This is the Heavenly Father speaking. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. You see that? I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Judgment. Judgment, man. 
All right? You go in the book of Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, the Lord said he's going to bring heavy judgments upon his, upon his people, man. Let's go to that real quick, and then we're going to come back to, to Deuteronomy. Uh, Jeremiah 15, did they forget about that? Did they forget about the words of, of Yahweh Shemiah? Obviously they have. Let's read about it. Jeremiah 15 and 1. Look at the subhead in here, people. Judgment must come. See, IUIC forgot about judgment. You know, standing with the NOI, which they're known for doing that marching crap. Right? The Nation of Islam, they're known for that nonsense. You had the Million Man March. Remember that nonsense? What did that solve? They're still, uh, Jake's is still dying at, at, at an alarming rate. The reason why Jake's are dying, so-called black men in particular, are dying at an alarming rate is because it's part of judgment. It's what the Heavenly Father wants. If he didn't want that, it wouldn't be happening. All right? As it is written, man's goings of the Lord. Okay? So you got to understand that the killing and the destruction, the gangs and all that, that's part of the will of the Lord, man. That's part of his judgment. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Jeremiah 15 and 1. Look at the subheading, people. Judgment must come. Look at the other subheading of the NLT. Judah's inevitable doom. Yeah, we're in the time of judgment. And you, IUIC, you and your purple cladded morons can't stop the judgment of Yahweh Shibi Shai. You can't stop the judgment, man. Then said the Lord unto him, unto me, <laughs> Salakia, me being Jeremiah, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, two great men of the nation of Israel, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Right? That's why judgment's coming upon them. Horrific judgments, man. The men, the women, and the children. It says, Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth, which eventually did happen. 67 AD, we were cast out of the Lord's sight. What's the Lord's sight? The land of Israel. We, we, we were cast out of there around 67, 70 AD. Again, because of our wickedness. All right? And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go? Then thou shalt tell them. And eventually we ended up where? Here in the, in the place of uh, our... Our punishment, which is America. The majority of us ended up here in America. The word America means bitter. It means bitter. So that's why you're going to have the killings and the destruction. Because we're in a place that's bitter, man. What's wrong with that retarded group? The IUIC, <coughs> spiritually, they're a bunch of retards, man. Slow bellies. Slow-minded individuals. All right, let's keep reading. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, whither shall we go? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord. Hey, the Lord is speaking, so we should listen. Such as are for death to death. You see that? Oh, the killings is getting bad, and we got to stop this, and we got to join solidarity with the NOI, another unbelieving group. And somehow that'll stop the kill. <sighs> Come on, man. Stop it. Okay? Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine. See that? All forms of judgment. All forms of judgment right here. Death, sword, famine. And such as are for the captivity to the captivity. See that? And, that, and that's going to happen with the detention centers and concentration camps. What do you, what do you, what do you IUIC, what do you IUIC morons going to do? You're going to march under the detention centers and the concentration camps? When they make them mandatory for people that, that uh, don't want to take that RFID chip, are you going to march on, on, the, on those installations? Set up by Esau? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'd <laughs> love to see that. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord. See that? Four kinds of what? Judgment. Okay? Uh, the sword to slay. See that? And the dogs to tear. So wouldn't those gangs or whatever, those killings or whatever, wouldn't that come underneath this, this scripture here? Absolutely, man. The Heavenly Father is orchestrating that. It's his work. The sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. So that those are all forms of judgment that the Heavenly Father is bringing. The smartest thing we can do is pray to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemiah to protect us, to deliver us from those judgments. Okay? 
like King David said, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. You see, that's the smartest thing we can do. Not try to get in, get in the way of the, of the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. That's what IUIC is trying to do. They're trying to get in the way of the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. They're trying to stop it. You can't stop the judgments that the Lord have pronounced on his people for their wickedness. What the hell's wrong with you? Anyway, let's get back to Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Let's read a little bit more about judgment. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Deliver from, from what? From his judgments. We just read an example of his judgments in Jeremiah the 15th chapter. But there's more. It says, for I lift up my hand to heaven. That's the heavenly father speaking. And say I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword. Wet means to sharp or to sharpen. W-H-E-T. Look it up. It means to sharpen. Somebody put that in the comment section. It means to sharpen. And we, we just read examples of the, the judgments of the Heavenly Father in Jeremiah the fifteenth chapter. Dogs to slay, birds to 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 to, to, kit, to you know to he's gonna use the birds to bring forth the judgment. He's gonna use the animals to bring forth judgment. He's gonna use the sword to slay. The Monday sword is the gun. Okay? These are all forms of the judgment of Yahabashim Yashai. And like it says in Proverbs twenty eight and five, which is what I built the lesson around. Evil men does, do not understand judgment. And I'm going to read that scripture to you before this lesson is through. Okay? If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on what? Judgment. You see that? I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. So all the killing Abiel was talking about, those people that were getting killed, that was the Heavenly Father rendering his judgment upon them for their wickedness. So w w why are they trying to stop that? Why are they trying to stop that? Why is the, why is the IUIC trying to stop that? Those forms of judgment. Because they don't understand judgment. And furthermore, they're not teaching in the name of Yahweh Barshim Yahshua. They're teaching in the name. They're coming with that old, that old decrepit plantation Christianity garbage. They're teaching in the name of God and Jesus Christ. And that's what happens, man. The Holy Spirit is not working with you. Okay? All right, so we're done with that scripture. All right, 1 Samuel 2 and 6, we, we know that the Lord killeth and he maketh alive. Again, let's get, get back to Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. See that? He will not do iniquity. Every morning he, he doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not. Exactly. And no clown is going to get in his way of bringing judgment. But the unjust knoweth no shame. <laughs> yeah, neither do they un understand judgment. Let's go to that, Proverbs 28 and 5. This was the scripture that initially inspired me to do this video. All right, because one of, I think it was Karadza, something he was saying in his video, and immediately the scripture came to my mind, Proverbs 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment. You see that? J the judgment of Yahweh Hashim Yahshai. They try to get in the way of the judgment of Yahweh Hashim Yahshai. You should read the, 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 the story of the uh, king, um, what was his name, um, uh, that tried to get into the, in the way of the judgment of the Heavenly Father and got killed for it. Uh, that was, um, that was uh, he, he, he gave the greatest Passover. His name is escaping me right, right now. Because uh, that's a good example. What was his name? Israelite king who gave the greatest Passover. Let's see, Israelite king who gave the greatest Passover. Yeah, his name is escaping in the Bible. Let's see, Josiah, Josiah, that's him, that's him. Josiah. Now, Josiah was trying to get in the way of the Heavenly Father's judgment and got killed for it, man. Okay. Uh, let's, let's read a little about that. Let's put in Josiah's death. That's what happened to Josiah. Josiah's, Josiah's death. K 
KJV. Yep, it is right here. Second Chronicles 35, 20 to 27. Let's go there. This is an example of why you do not get involved or you do not try to get in the way of the Heavenly Father's judgment. At least you get taken out. Okay. Second Chronicles 20 and verse, what, what was that? I'm oh, sorry, 35. Second Chronicles 35 and 20. Second Chronicles 35 and 20. All right. It says, yep. Yeah. And I think even the, uh, even the king, uh, yeah, King Nico, right, which was of Egypt, tried to warn Josiah, look, what is happening is that is a that is the judgment of the heavenly father. You shouldn't be messing with this. Uh, Josiah dies in battle. After all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, Nico, king of Egypt, came up to fight against Carchemish by Euphrates, and Josiah went out against him. See that? And and that that was uh, judgment being brought forth. Let's keep reading. It says. But he sent ambassadors to him, saying, What have I to do with thee, thou king of Judah? I come not against thee this day, but against the house wherewith I have war. For, check this out, For the heavenly Father commanded me to make haste. Forbear, forbear thee from meddling with the heavenly Father. And that's, that's what the IUIC is doing. By doing that unnecessary marching and 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 uh, and uh, you know um, <coughs> having these meetings with these other groups that have nothing to do with this ministry of ours over some uh, some destructive things that are happening in this world, which is really the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Shai. They're supposed to understand that, and know that they're meddling with affairs that don't belong to them. All right, for the heavenly father commanded me to make haste, forbid thee from meddling with the heavenly father who is with me, that he destroy thee not. You see that? Nevertheless, Josiah would not turn his face from him, but disguised himself. So Josiah was being wicked. Okay, and that's why he paid the ultimate price. All right, he, uh, how's that go? Um, the the uh, evil men will not be reproved, but they seek it for an excuse. So here here comes Josiah with his with his excuse to be in the battle. He disguised himself, that he might fight with him, and hearkeneth not unto the words of Nico from the mouth of the heavenly Father, and came to fight in the valley of Megiddo, and the archers shot at King Josiah, and the king said to his servants, Have me away, for I am sore wounded. Right, so he, he, because he got he meddled with judgment that didn't belong to him, he got killed for that. So that's our, our example, man. You're supposed to know and understand judgment. Evil men do not understand judgment. Proverbs 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment. And these, these men, as, as it stands at the IUIC, they're evil. They're evil men, all right? But they that seek the Lord, right, understand all things <laughs> you see how beautiful that scripture is so they understand why the killings and the destruction is happening they won't get involved in it they won't meddle with it you don't see gms you don't see us marching for no for no cause you know some guy gets killed here come iuic they're marching for this guy and the guys of the world you know he got killed because the how about brought judgment upon him you won't see GMS doing that nonsense. That's why Apostar made his video. You won't see GMS standing with the NOI over, over some destruction that's happening in the world. It's supposed to happen, man. It's supposed to happen. It's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Okay? So let's get back to the video. Let's get back to the video. Right there, I want that play. These fuck they had that with I'm gonna do it any damn way. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Right. So this guy's saying to justify getting together with the the, the, um, the NOI, which they 
worship a false god. Exactly. Okay? They don't even believe in what you believe in, you clown. You believe that you're a Hebrew Israelite. They believe that they're of the nation of Islam. What 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 possible common ground do you have do you guys have together? But here he is with this silly video trying to justify his nonsense or their nonsense. Okay, like the scripture said, evil men, uh, uh, evil men, um, how's it go? Uh, a sinful man findeth an excuse for his will. These are excuses. Oh, we, we, we joined with the NOI because of this and because of that. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> let's, let's move on. In the name of violence, we got to stop the violence. How right. can you stop the violence? Go back to Amos 3. Go back. And the violence is part of the Heavenly Father's judgment. And it's only going to escalate more. What are you guys going to do then? When the violence really escalates. Have you not read that uh, thus with violence, hold up now. Thus with violence shall that great city. It shows you that these guys are not in the right spirit. Why do you think we constantly keep getting on these guys? And a lot of you Israelites can't see because you get your head up your kulu. That's why you can't see. I'll tell you why you can't see, because you got your head up your kulu, okay? Revelation 18 and 21, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone. <laughs> oh, great millstone, check that out. And cast it into the sea, and that great millstone, for understanding, is, is talking about the missiles, all right? That's the great millstone, okay? And cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. So that well, the violence that we're seeing, which is, on, is only going to escalate, is part of the future destruction of this place called America. It's an omen to the destruction of this place called America, the, the violence that we're seeing. And, and we're going to see more and more violence because that is all part of the judgment of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai. And we're not going to get in the way of that judgment. We're not going to get in the way of that violence. It's being brought on by Yahweh Barshim Yahushai. <laughs> Remember, we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. So there you go. So the violence starts small, but then it escalates to the point where America is involved in, f in full, full blown World War III, man, which will bring the end to this place. Okay, along with them chariots of the Lord. The Lord himself is coming to bring violence. Okay. Mm -hmm. But here, here we got these clowns trying to stop the violence. <laughs> Look at this guy, man. Anyway, let's move on, man. Go back to Amos 3. Go back to Amos 3. Exactly. Go back to Amos 3. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Exactly. They're supposed to know this stuff. But see, they're doing their own thing. They're, they're going according to their own thoughts and feelings. Remember what the Lord said. His thoughts and his ways are not our thoughts and our ways. Remember, he said that. <laughs> All right? Remember Josiah. Josiah was going according to his thoughts and feelings, even though he was warned. Look, what's happening is the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Don't mess with it. At least you get killed. What does Josiah do? He, he, he ignores the advice. He goes and mess with the judgment, and he gets killed. That's exactly, that's the same route that these guys are going, man. Okay? This is what they get for doing their own thing. Why is there violence? If there was 20, yeah, this is 20 days in a row, niggas getting shot, 100 niggas got shot inside of 20 days. We got to do something about it. You ain't a dang, a damn thing you can do about it because go back to Amos 3. Exactly. So these guys are doing their own thing. They're doing their own thing. One of these kids is doing his own thing. One of these kids, remember that from Sesame Street, was it? Or Electric Company? One of these kids is doing their own thing. That's how you I see, man. One of these kids is doing their own thing. How you I see out here doing big things, man, going all over the world trying to gather <laughs> gather members that are that are not even part of the elect. Right? <laughs> because the majority of the elect will come out of America. But they're going, the Lord already know who his elect is. When he comes, he's gonna gather his elect, as it is written from the four corners of the earth, not you. He didn't tell you to go over the four corners of the earth, Nate to try to gather his elect. You're supposed to be prophesying in Babylon. The main spot that you're supposed to be doing the work is here in America, Babylon, Babylon the Great, man. Prophesy against Babylon. 
But again, one of these kids is doing his own thing. They're doing their own thing, man. They ain't doing their Look at the name they're coming in, God and Jesus Christ. What more do you need? They're not following you. How about Shimmy Oshai? Let's move on, man. This community, we got the solution. It's but you always think we ain't the, all, always in the community. We got the solution. Hear this moron? And, and beware of any guy who keeps using the word community. All right? I had the, I think I still have it, the information. Um, uh, you have a, a, a false god called Baal Barif. Baal Barif is also known as God of the community, the community. And Baal Barif was a false god that the Israelites worshipped, man. Let me, let me see if I type it in, if it'll come up. Baal Barif, God of the community, the community. Baal Barif, God of the community. <laughs> community. Let's see if anything. Huh? Let's see. Baal Barif is also known as God of the community. Alright. Let me see if I, I still have that. Uh, let's see if I still have that for me for a minute. Mm -hmm. Some of you might have remembered I, I did a video on that information a long time ago. Baal Barif is on. There we go. Here it is right here. Baal Barif. All right. Baal Barif. Let's read about that here. Baal Barif was known also was known also as Lord of the Covenant, and as the god Barif. He was a popular god and was worshipped in Canaan, Philist Philistia, and Shikim. He was the protector of the covenant between Shikkim and some neighboring Canaanitish towns and were originally independent but were at length brought under the subjugation by the Hebrews. Okay. Any Israelites who might be dwelling in Shikkim would be would be simply would be simply or protected strangers and not parties to a covenant. The temple of Baal Barif had a treasury from which the citizens made a contribution to Abimelech. It was there that, the, that Gal first came forward as a leader of the rebellion and within its precinct, the inhabitants of the Tower of Shechem, the Acropolis, found a temporary refuge from Abimelech at the close of the revolt. And Abimelech was known for worshipping false gods okay matter of fact let's type in this what happened to Abimelech let's type in that what happened to Abimelech what happened to Abimelech ah here we go uh, see that? Abimelech was an idolater. Of such idolaters, and, and that's what, hold up, that, the, the, uh, the IUIC, they, they, they're idolaters. They, they're worshiping an, 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 an idol, man. Keep talking about the community, the community. We weren't, we weren't chosen in this knowledge, this truth, to be, to care about the community. The only group we care about is the hopeful elect of, of them getting this knowledge getting this truth we don't give a shit about the community man we're not supposed to the lord said pray not for this people every day the heavenly father how about shimei shah doth bring forth what brutal judgments against the community because they're a community of wicked wicked individuals man they're getting their judgment of such idolaters were the vain and light fellows who helped abimelech 
the son of Gideon, by his concubine from Shechem to assassinate the other sons of his father. But the Most High is just as Abimelech murdered his brothers upon a stone, so Abimelech himself met his death through a millstone. There you go. There you go, man. Abimelech was an idolater. One of the things he worshipped was Baal Barith. Now, Baal Barith was also known as God of the community. You see, the community. Let me blow it up so you can see it for yourself. Baal Barith was also known as God of the community. So beware of any clown you hear always talking about the community, concerned about the community. We're not supposed to be concerned about the community. We're only, be, we're only supposed to be concerned about the elect. The Apostle Paul said, I endure all things for the elect's sake. Let's read that. I endure all. And, and this, uh, this group, IUIC, they don't even talk about the elect. It is right here. This is uh, uh, what the Apostle Paul said to Timothy. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. We're not supposed to be concerned about the community. That's none of our concern. The same way Josiah was not supposed to be concerned about the war King Nico was having with his rival. But jo Josiah made an excuse, got involved, and he paid the ultimate price. He got killed. All right, so we, we can learn a lesson from that. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain salvation. See that? The, who's going to obtain salvation? The elect. They're going to be protected from all the madness that's getting ready to happen, man. All the death and destruction, which you cannot stop. All right? For the elect's sake, that they may also obtain salvation, which is in Yahawashai, with eternal glory. There you go, man. There you go. Let's get back to the video. This community, we got the solution. But you think we ain't gonna show up? Right. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> but you think we ain't gonna show up? Nigga. Yeah, you you getting in the way of the judgment. Of you, how about Shai? You're the, you're the you're the diggers. You're a bunch of clowns. You don't understand judgment. If there if if, if there's death and destruction, have the Lord not done it? Like Elder Pastor kept saying, the Spirit had him keep saying, Amos the third chapter, Amos the third chapter. All right, this guy is proud in his ignorance, man. All right, Amos the third chapter. Amos the third chapter. It is. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be, here's the point, shall there be evil in the city, in a city, and the Lord have not done it? So now you got to find out the reason. Well, why is the Lord bringing all this evil? Why? Well, the Lord already told you because his people are wicked. It's Jeremiah the 15th chapter. My mind could not be to, toward this people because they're so wicked. So I'm going to bring all different forms of judgment. So that's why you got the killing and the destruction, man. It's judgment, you big doofus. <laughs> I mean, some some guys they just they just it's just plain to see that they're just dumb, dullards. All right, look at this clown. Let's move on, man. Up right. Nigga, <laughs> you showed up strong. You see the listen, you see the flag. You showed up strong, and guess what? And after you left, there's going to be more killing and more destruction. So now what? You showed up strong. Actually, you showed up looking stupid because a, a spiritual man, as it is written, a spiritual man judges all things. A spiritual man will look at you guys and say, "You guys are dumb, man. You guys are stupid. You don't understand spiritual things." Listen, we got it all out there. This is the way. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I keep stopping. He a devil, he a rat. King of fallen. He said, this is the way. The scripture that Isaiah said, this is the way. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are sorry. And and then his clowns like this. What was that? The leaders of this people caused them. Because he's part of the leadership, right? Isaiah 9 and 16. Isaiah 9 and 16. Let's read this, man. You got clowns like that leading you guys over there. You, you guys are destined to fall in the ditch. Like Yahweh I said, if the blind lead the blind, both will fall where? In the ditch. You're going to get caught up in there. You're going, they, they, these, 
Your leadership at the IUIC, they're going to have you, you, cl you dullards at the IUIC marching with, clad with your purple, your grape Kool-Aid garments. And they're going to lead you right into a, a predicament you won't be able to get out of. And it's going to cost you your life. And what are they going to say? What is the leadership going to say? They're going to step to the side and, and try to deny it. This, this is what they do. Isaiah 9 and 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. There you go. And they that are led of them are destroyed. <laughs> That's, these guys are leading you to the ditch and you're going to be destroyed. Okay? Following, the, following these clowns. And you deserve it too. All you clowns that followed the IUIC and their, and their, kook, their, their kooky leadership. And I do mean kook, kooky, kooky leadership. You deserve what you're about to get, man. Because you should have followed instructions. All the judgments that's coming down, the brutal judgments, that's the Heavenly Father bringing it. <clears throat> and you cannot stop it. You can't stop it, man. It's part, it's part of prophecy. It's part of judgment. The best we can do is pray to Yahweh Shemiah He don't bring that judgment on us to protect us from that judgment. Not get try to stop it and get involved in it. We showed up strong. This dude is full of hot air. Hot air. The scripture that Isaiah said, this is the way, walk ye in it. That's not the way. Exactly. They're going to lead these guys. If if the, the, the leader, Nate, tells them there ain't nothing wrong with the micro C hip, it has nothing <clears> to do <throat> with uh, what GMS says, you can go ahead and take it if you want it. Then all y'all, if y'all are not, if none of you, if none of you all out there are of the elect, you're going to fall for it. Exactly. Maybe Yahweh Saab will come to his senses. The spirit, you heard what the rap song said, right? The spirit of the Lord is behind the judgments too. That y'all are trying to stop. That y'all are trying to fight against. <laughs> this, this group is totally confused, man. Totally confused. This song we done did the exact same thing. We did crime, we did porn, we petition, we even voted. But we still are. You're that clown, we even voted. We even. Did Yahweh Shai vote? Was Yahweh Shai taking part of the vote back then? Was Yahweh Shai getting involved in, in, in the affairs of the, uh, the wicked Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes? And how about the Roman officials? Was Yahweh Shai getting involved in that? Was his disciples getting involved in that? Is it not written, love not the world, neither the things of the world? If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. <laughs> oh, man. Suffering from the same things. You know the simple form of the same is doing something. It goes, there goes one of the kooky, mem kooky members of the kooky leadership, you know, spilling his hot air. Over and over, and expecting a different so, result. The one thing is to be. I know y'all said it's oppressive. You know what I mean? But what's happening about community? Do we not need that sense of urgency? Our people are dying. Our people are dying. This, uh, uh, so we need this sense of urgency. Our people are dying. Why are they dying? Exactly. Why are they dying? Why? Because of judgment, that's why. Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, I read to you a few scriptures dealing with judgment. Every day, Zephaniah 3 and 5, every day the Lord doth bring forth judgment. Okay? And they're going to be more and more dying. What are these clowns going to do? They're going to get, they're going to step in the way and try to stop that? When the dying really starts escalating? How about them nuclear missiles and the chariots of the Lord when they bring ultimate destruction? Were they going to try to step in the way of that too and stop it? Our people are dying. Our, first of all, who are your people? Your pe what did Yahweh Shai said? Who is my father, my mother, my sister, my brothers? Them that do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The so-called people you're talking about, are they doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? The answer is no. And that's why they're dying. They're getting judgment. What a, This is a colossal clown right here. Look at him, man. Where, 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 where? Where did they drag this guy from? <laughs> Let's move on, man. Huh? 
<laughs> what does the scripture say? And not too many words. The false thought said, huh? <laughs> hey, man, I hope you brothers bad. I hope you brothers get fired up. You, you GMS brothers now, affiliates, come on now. What, what are you affiliates doing, man? Well, ain't no time to be laying back on the on the payback, man. Get up and do these videos, man. All right? Bring these videos out, man. These guys are doing their own thing. They're not following. They are not following the judgment of Yahweh Shem Shai. Well, they're not even teaching the name of Yahweh Shem Shai. So there you go. There you go. Let's listen to more of that. Then I'm going to go to Ella Karatzad's video. Play a little of that, and that's going to be my video. The issues of death. Coming from the Lord. I'm merely paraphrasing. Yep, Psalm 68 and 20. Yep. If there be evil, and what's three, if there be evil in the city, who did it? Right. Who did it? That's right. Die every day. This ain't the first death at the Lottie store. Right. Right. IBL, I got news for you. They're going to be more and more deaf. We're in the season of death, IBL. You pray not that you get caught up in it with your simple ass. Okay? We're in the season of death, my man. We're in the season of destruction. Okay? <laughs> hey, brothers, raise your hand if you stop the fight right there off the, at the Lottie store. That's my These brothers in the community, every time we go out there... There's that word community again. You don't, when you hear us speak, you don't hear us speaking about no goddamn community. You know why? Because we don't worship Baal Barif like Abimelech did. So you got these people, you got these guys, Israel United in confusion, out there speaking in the same area, <laughs> and they, and people ain't listening to them. No. Guaranteed, people ain't listening to them. You no. might have an old woman listen, might have some young woman. She listening because she see a guy in the yeah exactly. in the in the crowd. Oh, he cute. I want to maybe I can get his. Maybe yeah. we can exchange numbers. I can get with him. And even the older woman, they're always looking. The older woman, they're always looking for for a new sucker. You know, <laughs> this is a joke, man. So the community ain't coming together. What does it say in Matthew uh, uh, ten? So for the fifth verse, on down, on down, mm -hmm. it says if they don't accept your peace. In order for them to accept your peace, that means they're coming in. You guys said that you got a school out there. Ain't nobody coming to school. Nope. So all this stuff is happening. You say, now I can get them now. I can get the violence thing. But the, if, you were, if you was about truth, you would tell them the reason why this is going on. Because exactly. the most high is allowing it to go on, making exactly. it go on. Exactly. He putting a spirit on the, on a nigga to take out another nigga. Exactly. There'd be, there'd be uh, spirits set up for vengeance. I'm merely paraphrasing. Yeah, um, Ecclesiastes 39. Yep. Ecclesiasticus 39. Yeah. There are spirits for vengeance. So so based upon what the Apostle Star is saying, these are not these guys are not men of truth. King Von. Alright? These guys are not men of truth. Okay? How's how's that go with with with, uh, with uh, deceiving the hearts of the simple? Okay? The hearts of the simple. Let's get that. Only the simple will listen to these clowns. Deceiving the hearts of the simple. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're doing their own thing. This is Apostle Paul warned us about these clowns. Clowns like that. Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. And offenses. They're, they're an offense to us. As men of, of truth. As men of, of understanding. We understand judgment of Yahweh Shem Yashai. Clowns like that. The, I, the IUIC. And their kooky, kooky cola leadership. <laughs> kooky cola. <laughs> right? They're an offense to us, man. They're an offense to us men of truth. It says, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary meaning watch them put the scope on them and that's what i'm doing with this video and, and all you brothers should be doing the same thing man mock them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them right for they that are such right serve not our lord yahweh shai right they're doing their own thing they're not serving yahweh shai for goodness sakes they're coming in the name of god and jesus christ what more proof do you need for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, right? They're doing their own thing. 
okay? And to serve their own belly means they're trying to get that skrilla. They're trying to get that money. And they're using that cause to drum up uh, membership so they can get that money. It's a money hustle, man. It's a gimmick designed for getting that money up, getting that bag. It's a money-making hustle, man. That's what it is. For they that are such, sir, they don't give a shit about the community, okay? <laughs> <laughs> For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly. And by good words, so you see Abiel up there with the mic. He's feeling, he's feeling himself right at that moment. And by good words and fair speeches, there you go, deceive the hearts of the simple. The only ones that's going to listen to them are the simple, man. Simple, just like them. Okay? There you go. You can't get around it, man. King Von was taking niggas out left and right. Guess what? The Most High, Yahweh, mm -hmm. not Christ, but Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, put the spirit on him to be a killer. Yep. That, that the, was the, his lot, and then he got taken out. Drill, the drill rapping, do whatever the hell you call it. They dissing each other, two crews dissing each other. Then all of a sudden, one guy get killed, the other guy retaliate. Who, did, who put the spur on them to do that? The most high. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Okay? Saying it in my Lahab voice. And apply what God said. The white man that tells that's the first thing. What God are you talking about? You ain't talking about Yahweh because you ain't doing what Yahweh said to do. You ain't doing what Yahweh Shai said to do. So what God are you talking about? That Rob is stealing and murdering. That, that's Hosea chapter 4 from the first verse. Yep. Hey, I'm about to send you a video real quick. And this guy, he shouldn't even be talking. He got so many skeletons in his closet. This Kanai character right here. He got so many skeletons in his closet. It's not even funny, man. He was the same guy who got kicked out of IUIC for, for a period of time because of some scandal. And he, he's up there. Delivering some bullshit ass speech. Anyway, from there, let me go to Karatza. Yeah, boy, I tell you, never a dull moment in this nation. Now, this is Karatza. <laughs> or something that they're not. I'll play a little bit of his video, and then I'm gonna wrap up my video. Pretty much, he's saying the same thing. He's reacting to uh, Elder Pastor's video. I shall woman. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash. Look at that. Uh, the comment says they got sisters on the battlefield. Yes, yeah, silly women laden with sins. That's that's who follows uh, that group, the IUIC. Silly women laden with sins. And the silly men follow the silly women. Ain't nothing but a glorified church with an Israelite twist. We've been saying that for years. About that group, the IUIC. It's nothing but a glorified Baptist church. We've been saying that for years. Double one to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the four elect tabernacle of David, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And I'm just uh, watching this uh, video that the elder apostle Tahar put up. Should there be an evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? which is uh, taken from the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6. Now, IUIC, you know, they come back with their explanation to try to justify what went down, where they actually uh, stood in solidarity with the nation of Islam. And their reasoning is, where there was murders over there in that area. You know, a lot of people dying. And people are not interested to hear us speak. So we have to pull a gimmick and uh, get with the nation of Islam so that people will actually, you know, give their attention. So this is their reasoning, you know, and justification. <clears throat> and, um, 
this is how you know that these they can't be prophets in men of the Lord because we understand that when Jake died by the sword, when they end, when people die by the sword, it's judgment. Exactly. Did you hear what did you hear what the brother said? It's judgment, and we are supposed to. We as as men that are spiritual, we're supposed to understand judgment and not get offended, not get emotional. It's judgment. Okay, that's what happened with Josiah. He got emotional. Nico was trying to tell him, look, this is judgment. Why are you messing with judgment? Why are you getting in the way of judgment? This is judgment. At least you get caught up in it. Did, did Josiah listen? Did he, did, he, uh, did he heed to the words? No. Nope. And he got killed for it. Okay? And that's what's going to happen to these clowns, man. They don't understand judgment. They're going to pay, pay, pay with that, that ignorance. They're going to pay with their lives. You, you'll see. You, you'll see. This is what you get when you don't follow instructions. Prophets ain't never protested against the judgments of the Heavenly Father. That's right. That's right. That's true. Prophets understand that when there's evil taking place mm -hmm. wherever it happens in the world, mm -hmm. that is it's coming from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's coming from his judgment. Absolutely. Prophets understand that. Like Yahweh Shai said, a sparrow can't fall to the ground unless the Heavenly Father sanction it. So everything that's going down on the planet Earth, whether it be good or, or evil, it's the Heavenly Father doing it. He creates good and he creates evil. Did he not say that? Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So, it, it, so we have to understand judgment. The smartest thing we can do is to pray to Yahweh Shemiyashai that we av avoid the judgment, his judgments, his, his, his brutal judgments. And that we get a righteous judgment. That's the smartest thing we can do. Not try to get in the way of his judgments. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me get a quick pre. This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 19 and 29. It says, Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword that you may know there is a judgment Ooh, that, that was nice so we understand that was nice that was nice that's job 19 and 29 that's nice be ye afraid of the sword right and, and the sword remember jeremiah 15 the lord said he's gonna bring the sword upon his people because his mind could not be to them that's two-thirds and that's a lot of israelites okay be ye afraid of the sword for wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, the wrath, the wrath of who? The wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, which he puts on people, causes people to do to other people, to to destroy them. It's, it's the judgment. It's the Heavenly Father's judgment. Right? For wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, that ye may know there is judgment, or there is a judgment. And you're supposed to know this. The IUIC, that the kooky, kooky cola leadership, they're supposed to know this, man. But evil men do not understand judgment. They're evil men. They're, 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 they're all they care about is their own belly. And with fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. How can you not see this? When somebody dies, when somebody gets murdered, somebody gets uh, killed, ultimately, that was their judgment. Right. All right? Some of them, or a lot of them, I should say, those souls, those individuals that get taken out, they had it coming. All right? Yeah, they right did a lot now, of wicked. Right now you got the Venezuelan gangs. Where's the IUIC to step up and, and stop them? Huh? I'll be all talking about all this strong, this strong presence that they show. Well, where's your strong presence for the v Venezuelan gangs? Where, 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 what, what's going on, IUIC? Y'all laying on the job. Y'all got work to do. Get out there and confront them Venezuelan gangs, man. Let's see your strong presence and leadership there. <laughs> Guys, a joke, man. It's in the flesh, and uh, the Lord saw fit to finally get rid of them. And the Lord doesn't do any iniquity. He's not wrong in any of his judgments. That's it. That, right, so if that, you were probably... That's heavy. I didn't even know he was going to say that. That's exactly what I said. You come to that conclusion, whether it be good or evil... The Heavenly Father makes no mistakes. 
Every work that he does is cal calculated, balanced judgment. You better believe it, man. Every work that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai does is a calculated, balanced judgment. And we have to understand that. We can't go according to our thoughts and feelings. Remember, I read that scripture to you. His, our thoughts and our feelings are not the Heavenly Father's thoughts and His feelings. His ways are above our ways. Remember? Fear, you're supposed to understand that. Exactly. And that's why we fear Him. The scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. There you go. That's right. So what the hell is IUIC? You know, They're a bunch of reprobates. That's what that's their that's their major malfunction. They're a bunch of reprobates. First of all, they're not even teaching the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. So it's all downhill from there. And anybody who's following that reprobate group with their kooky cola leadership, you deserve what you get, man. You deserve what you freaking get or what you're about to get. And we ain't going to feel sorry for you. We have warned you. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I've made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. We're the true watchman. GMS, Great Millstone, our true affiliates. We're the true watchman. And you dullards among the Israelite groups, you're going to you're gonna fi finally figure it out. You know what? Yahweh Hashem Yashai is dealing with this group. They're the true watchmen. This GMS group and their affiliates. The Lord is dealing with them. We ought to listen to them. They, they got the right spirit. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yashai is dealing with them. They're the true watchmen. You're going to figure that shit out, man. Okay? Uh, what's that group? B-O-W. B -O -W. Wow, wow. <laughs> B -O -W. Believers of the way, they got their wake-up call. They got their wake-up call. And it's only the beginning. Why do they think that they're so important that they can actually stop the hands of judgment from the top? Yeah, like Josiah. Josiah thought he was important. That he could stop the hands of judgment. He got killed for it, okay? Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I'd like to play a little more, but this video's run ran over an hour. Uh, hopefully you were edified by it though you brothers and sisters of the household of faith and for now I say Shalom and you want to check this video out by uh, GMS Vegas sit downs there's the title not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think I will if I remember I will put the link in the description box or the comment section most likely the comment section both videos Pastor's video and this video very good videos to watch and the topic was inspired by the comment the pastor made. Why is all this judgment happening? We can never forget that. We can never make that an oversight in, in, in trying to meddle with affairs that, are not, that do, do not belong to us. If there's death and destruction happening, the Heavenly Father is the one bringing it. Never forget that, man. That's an important point to always... To uh, always... Um, dwell on meditate on why 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 is the judgment of death and destruction happening it's happening because the heavenly father wants it to happen that's why so on that note we'll see you in the next one